that's got to be a magic feeling, hasn't it, when they're singing your name and saying that you're one of their own. Yeah, it's giving me goosebumps now thinking about it. <laughs> Because you are. I mean, you 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 know, born in Stafford. Uh, you've been here. Um, I would imagine you've been in these change rooms quite a long, a lot yeah. of times over the years. Grew up in these change rooms. I have slam over the home. It's, so yeah, it's been here since I was eight, and come through all the ranks. I've had hard times, tough times, but I'm glad to say that I've made it, and I am here where I am today. Was there any point you thought might not be? happening for me? Um, I think there was a point where I was like 13, 14 and I was quite small and I didn't really develop and I thought I wasn't going to get offered another, another contract but I had uh, a massive growth spurt at that age and I think that really helped me as a player and developed me more. Who around you helped you as well in, in, in keeping your head up and keeping you all the, all the coaches, all the academy coaches at Wolves helped me and that's why when I received the, my Premier League debut ball, uh, I sort of dedicated it to not just myself, but to everyone in the club as well, because I didn't just get myself here. They've helped me here. My family and friends have helped me here as well. Now, you came on, I think, a sort of central midfield role at the, at the weekend, but you can play in a few roles, can't you? Yeah, when I came on in centre midfield, the, the manager sort of gave me a licence to go forward. But like he said, when we're defending, make sure you stay the two in shape. So it's also good for the manager to give me that little bit of freedom to go and express myself and just show everyone what I can do. Now, obviously, lots of people have had their say on your performance. Danny Murphy, one of them, on, on television that night and certainly spoke very highly of you. Do you, do you listen to, to people? That... Uh, yeah, I, I do listen to it and I do take it in, but it's important that I've got to stay humble as a young player, as, as what I am, because uh, I think it will help me go further in my career and help my professionalism. If I let it get to my head, then it just shows that it's nothing really. Does it help that you've got a manager who doesn't praise individuals as well? He's very much about the team dynamic, isn't he? Yeah, massively. And I think it brings us all together as a team more as well, because he's not just picking out on certain individuals, what they're doing wrong or, what, or even what they're doing right. He helps us as, as a team. He motivates us all as a team. And I think that's what gets us through the games and stuff. Even though he was a goalkeeper in his playing days, has he helped you as develop your game? Uh, yeah, massively. Because when I first came back from injury, when I had a, I fractured my my foot, um, he spoke to me and was like, "We're going to work on things and we're going to make you a better player." And I can see now from when I was back then that I've improved massively. Do you feel you've got the self belief as well to? Because obviously, like you say, staying humble is important, but you also need to be confident on the pitch to express yourself. And I've seen you in a couple of interviews say, as you've approached big moments so far in your career, you've said, this is my moment. And you've got that kind of attitude about you. Yeah, you know when to like be confident and express yourself on the pitch. And you know when to just keep things simple. And I think that's what the, managers is, the manager has drilled into me, to know when to keep it simple and then to know when to go forward and try and create something making your Wolves debut at 16, then winning the Under-17 World Cup. How do you think you will handle the attention that, I guess, invariably always comes with achievements like that? Um, the attention doesn't really bother me, to be honest. I just try and get on with my football and, you know, come in, every, come in here every day is what I love to do and it's what I've dreamed of as a kid, so I'm going to keep doing that and not let it get to me. Your pinned tweet is about Cyril Regis, who sadly passed away. Uh, at the start of the year and he, he obviously played a, a big part in your development as well didn't he? Yeah a massive part and he was not just an agent he was a friend he was a family member to me because he helped me out in a lot of things where I couldn't turn to some people to ask for advice and I could turn to him and he'll give me the best advice that I could ask for and you know and it's gutting to see him go in such a horrible way and I'm doing what I'm doing now not just not just for him, obviously, but for everyone that's helped me to, to get to where I am today. How long did you know him for then? Um, I think I started knowing him when I was 16, and until he passed away, he's helped me in so many aspects, not just in football, out of football as well. So I can't thank him enough for what he's done for me. Yeah, he was a great player as well, wasn't he? And, and I think he will have given you, I'm sure, like you say, some, some wise words on how to... I guess, conduct yourself both on the pitch and, and off it as well. He was an unbelievable player and I think the things he went through uh, as a player with racism and stuff like that, I think he definitely inspired me and helped me and 
has improved me as a player and helped me to get to where I am. And whilst obviously he was, he was here, he would have seen you win the Under-17 World Cup, which yeah. is that, tell us about that moment. Uh, it's the best moment of my career so far, I think, just to lift the trophy, but uh, he was pleased for me. No matter what I did, he was always there, happy and supporting me. You mentioned earlier that you're born in Stafford and you went to school in Telford. Um, was it always Wolves? Because, I mean, Staffordshire's a kind of middle yeah. ground, isn't it? Stoke's there, yeah. not too far away. Um, well, when I was playing Sunday League at like the age of seven, it was only Wolves that came in for me. It was, uh, it's always been Wolves. It has it's always been Wolves. 